It's Tuesday afternoon, July 7th. We have completed the rebuild of our second uh, structural breaker for our Tamafa decortication line. All of the teeth have been welded, machined back down to size. It's ready to go. We'll now begin uh, installing the next incline conveyor. By the end of this week, we should have the first 150 feet or so of the uh, decortication line fully installed. As you can see, the bale opener, the first structural breaker, the incline conveyor, and dropping into the second structural breaker. We're just getting ready to hang the next incline conveyor. And we should be down to the wall here by the end of this week. Next week. We'll okay, David, here's a blueprint of the plant. And I want you to explain um, where we are in the installation process. And then we're going to go out and look at it and see the physical uh, machinery. So uh, go ahead, take it away. <coughs> oh, the, the first piece that we installed was just the, the largest piece of the puzzle is the, the Dubex filtration system. That's installed today and fully operational minus we, we, we've yet to run the air supply to it and the electrical power. What is it, Tim? It's, it's the final piece of the puzzle. If any, any remaining fiber that may be attached to the core is removed in this process and it's conveyed, once it exits this piece of machinery, it's conveyed to the milling operation. The first piece is the, the bale opener, which is sitting right in here. As of this afternoon, the bale opener is in place. The first incline conveyor, the first structural breaker has been totally rebuilt and is back together. The second structural breaker is together as well. We come down here and, and we make a 90 degree turn. Uh, it's, it's a U-turn, if you will. And then the line heads back towards the bale opener. As of right now, we, we've made the turn and we are, uh, come Monday morning, we're fixing to proceed on downstream. Right, right now, my best guess is we've got about between 60 and 65 percent of the line is installed, bolted to the floor, and awaiting the air supply and the electrical uh, wiring. So now, what is this over here? These, this is uh, towards the end of the line. These are conveying fans that provide the airflow to transport the fiber and core through this entire process. The, we're getting close to the stage where we're, we will begin installing all of the ductwork. We, we've got thousands and thousands of feet of ductwork that connect each piece of machinery to the next. And these fans here help to create the airflow to convey the material through the process. And how many feet is it from here to here approximately? Uh, from from the, start of the, the start of the bale opener to the fans is 155 feet. About 155 feet from here to here. Correct. And then we come back 155 feet to the other wall. Okay, so we got 250, 300 feet minus the blank spaces. Yeah, 300 feet, correct. Okay, well, let's go look at the, um, the actual machinery now. Let's do it. Okay. This is the start of the Boffa decortication line. Uh, we, we just want to uh, attempt to illustrate the size and scope of this machinery. Uh, it's we're, we're currently, this machine is inside a 70,000 square foot building. Uh, I, I don't know that the video uh, actually conveys to y'all uh, how large this machinery actually is. But I, I think this uh, video here will give y'all a pretty good idea of how large it is. Now what we have here, the bales of Kanath come here, right? And this is a, this will then break the bales apart. So as you can see, these are, well, how much the bales weigh each? 900 pounds. 900 pound bales, and we have, you know, buildings full of them. We have approximately between four and five million pounds on hand, as you saw in the videos down below. So the bales come in here, that's a spike conveyor belt, and it breaks the bales apart. That's the beginning of the process. And up here, there's a trash grinder, which helps to break the bell apart. And then this is the beginning of the ductwork that helps convey the material. Okay, so David, what I want to show is show the progress and how much further we've gone from the video right below us. 
Okay. So explain how far we've gone and what we're going to do next. Okay. Uh, as you all have seen previously, the, the bale opener is in place. We've completed the rebuilding of the first structural breaker right here. The first incline conveyor is installed. From here, it conveys all of the material into the second structural breaker, which we've also completed the rebuilding of. And what do these structural breakers do? This is where the, the fiber is actually removed from the stock of the plant. Uh, we can get a video of these teeth that, that rotate. Now, David, one of the things you did with these structural breakers is that we saw in one of the videos, two below us, that the, the teeth were curved and Correct. you had to make them square. So Correct. explain that process. We each and every tooth had to be welded and then machined back down to size to give it the 90 degree angle that is required to you know, provide the efficiency that we, we need. And how big is each of those teeth? About two, three they, inches? Yeah, they're probably three inches by three eighths of an inch wide by two and a half inches long. Okay, now what goes next? Once we leave the second structural breaker, any remaining fiber and core is transported up through this incline conveyor. It then goes through a metal detection process. This is a rare earth magnet, very powerful, that will catch any ferrous or non-ferrous metal that, that may be in the, the raw canaf or the raw hemp. Okay, then we, now we're making the turn like we saw in the blueprint. Correct. And this is the beginning of the turn, and what's that this, over there with the crane? This is a shaker table that the crane is attached to now. We're fixing the position in uh, where it belongs. It's a screening process to screen out the, any short fiber from the core. And then it comes back, as we saw in the blueprint, 